Hi there everybody, yes, Begrip here for Creativo.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to do this background image uh, with uh, these lightning effects around here. Uh, I got a lot of questions about this so therefore I decided to make a tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial you will see two different ways of doing it. Uh, my personal preference is since the second one. So I hope you guys like this and let's get right into it. First off you want to have a logo and a background. I just did it very simply. And then we just make a new layer. Uh, what you want to do then is just take your pen tool and then do these circles around your logo. And you can just hold down control and move it. Uh, and then what we want to do is go to path and then click stroke sub path. And then simulate pressure with our pencil tool. It has to be pencil. If you brush, it just fades out. It doesn't do this effect. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, then we make a new layer, and we go to path, and we make a new path. Uh, I'll just do a run around here. Then control to move it around. And then alt to move this bend. Something like that. around there I want it. Uh, I'm going to add one here also. I want it to be a little bit more circular. Something like that. And then we go to path and we go to stroke path. Pencil once again. And then we go back to layers. Make a new layer. Path. Make a new path. And then we just make a one bigger around here. Yes is one actually. And then we go stroke path there as well. And then final one. I just want four, so something around there. And then path, stroke path, pencil. Yeah, so now we have these. Um, I'm just going to then merge these. And then we go to filter, blur, and then we take radial blur. Uh, put this on around 30-ish, something like that, spin and good. And then OK. And you'll see here we get this effect right away. And then we can, of course, uh, do it the more Control F, just press there until you get the desired effect. And there you have a pretty cool uh, light effect around your logo. Yeah, this I can show another example. This is also done the same way. So yeah, that's basically how you do that. And then if you want another way of doing it, you can also do it like this. Uh, you just go into here. You take a shape. And you f make the fill. Actually, we need to make the shape first. Uh, you take the fill and select zero fill, and you take your uh, stroke option and select that normal hard line and then you raise your um, yeah you, your stroke up to around 9 or 10 I'm just gonna keep it on 9 for now and what you do then is oh cancel and then you just go into here and rasterize layer and you select your selection tool and you select half of it X and V um, so you basically break it down the middle and then we resize it down a little bit around there and uh, we control J to make a new layer something like this and then we go to this control J around there and then control J again I want a bigger one there and there we go with that. What we do now is just control. Uh, I mean, sorry, we um, merge layers, and then we do the same thing here: blur, and then uh, radial blur, and we will get the same kind of effect. Control F, Control F, Control F, and as you see, this gives a pretty cool effect as well. So we can just Control F. Uh, all the way so we get a full circle uh, and then we'll move our logo a little bit inside that position 
And as you see now, we get a cool effect that it looks like this light ripples all around our logo. Um, yeah, and this you can of course animate as well in, for example, After Effects if you want, uh, for example, a look like our intro. So yeah, guys, I hope that helped you, and remember to check out uh, creativo.com with a normal font, of course. Uh, and yeah, so let's hope I'll hope to see you all at um, creativo.com, and have a great day.